Hi and welcome to our day vlogging with Rich Bassini. Today is February 6, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you like the content and come back for more. Today I want to discuss, I have a couple windows open, some eBay news. First one's going to be how eBay and Alibaba say they're going to make sure that billions of listings on their sites are in counterfeit. The other one is from Tambay. It's my first eBay shopping experience. A, th a three week delivery wait. <laughs> Do promoted listings on eBay work? The trial. And then I have another one over here eBay promoted listings, your top 10 questions answered. And a little off key, just thought I'd share it with you 19 disasters that could end the world. And I also want to talk about managing what, what I'm going to be doing with my eBay listings and uh, the information I had recently uh, when I called them up. So I just want to share that with you guys as well. That's coming up, folks. Stick around. Hi and welcome. My name is Rich Bassini. I hope you like that little brief intro of what's going on. I have a couple other little windows i got to open up after uh, the broadcast is over, basically. I just want to share some information with you guys. So I do hope you like the content and you will keep coming back for more. For those who are new, this YouTube channel talks about a little of everything. Um, I talk a little about eBay news. I talk about current events, maybe certain things that may, you know, be interesting, may be interesting to you guys out there. Some do-it-yourself, some how-tos, whatever comes to my mind, I'm going to share it with you guys. So I do hope you like the content and you keep coming back for more. The information I post on my YouTube channel, folks, I get it from, you know, reliable sources. And I just want you guys to know that I don't just get this information and just can draw it up in my head and just throw it out there just to make a YouTube video. Uh, this YouTube channel is to help inspire and share, okay, and that's what it's all about. So I do hope you guys like the content I put out. I hope you can stick around and listen to what I have to say. And uh, if you do, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and don't forget to hit that bell notification icon. So without further ado, let's get started. The first story we got over here is from Footwear News. Yep, yeah, oh, fit, oh yeah, Fitwear News. Okay, dot com. I just want to make sure I was reading right. I had to put my glasses on here, folks. I'm sorry. Um, this story came out February 5th, 2019. I always like to tell you the dates when it came out so you know it's not old, old information. Although sometimes I do post stuff that is old, <laughs> but it, it may pertain to eBay or e commerce or reselling or whatever it may be, it's going to be pertaining to this channel. <laughs> so I hope you guys don't mind me, uh, you know, throwing that in fact, that little uh, outro in there. Anyway, um, it goes on to say here how eBay and Alibaba say they're making sure that billions of listings on their sites are in counterfeit. Now, there's been stories about that before about that, folks, about uh, counter people selling counterfeit items on even on uh, Amazon as well. I think they had that problem, too. I think I did a while back uh, in regards to that, that whole thing about counterfeits. Uh, I think Amazon was jumping in on the bandwagon with that, which they have been already. And I think also Etsy may had something uh, something about that as well. But this one here goes on to say protecting the intellectual property has long been the bane of many words of uh, brands words existence. And it says add to the mix they often uh, unpoliced and endless aisles of shopping of online shopping and many fashion footwear labels struggle to make e-commerce work fairly for them. Now I was trying to sell. Um, I don't believe it was to be a knockoff. It was a little Gucci purse. Uh, it was given to me uh, by a relative. And as far as I know, they always purchase pretty much, uh, you know, authenticated uh, purses. But eBay had picked it up. It was a little hand purse, and uh, they picked up on it, and they removed it because they said it was, uh, you know, it didn't meet their, their uh, requirements as far as authenticity. And that if I wanted to have it checked out, I was to send it to their service. They, I think eBay has that thing. I think you guys know that they have it where you could have their um, your items checked out prior to put them on, on eBay. I think you got to ship it to their facility, and they have some authenticated people. You know, people like do authentication of these, uh, you, know, uh, you know, labeled goods here, like you know, Gucci, um, Michael Kors, or whatever it may be. So, but I didn't bother doing that. I just left it off. I said later with it. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, but. Uh, that is a big problem, folks, with knockoffs. So uh, I can see why, you know, companies such as eBay, Amazon, anybody would actually, uh, you know, get involved with this and stepping up the uh, well, police in this pretty much. Uh, but anyway, it goes on to say here at a, uh, at a seminar during the FM platform in Las Vegas today, executives from eBay Inc. and Alibaba Holdings Ltd., the latter of which 
has faced particularly high criticism over its perceived lack of vigor in protecting both sellers and buyers using, plat using its platform, said they have thrown new resources behind protecting the IP rights of sellers and buyers using their uh, platforms. The news comes at the same time competitor Amazon finally admitted to its own struggles with counterfeit goods on the website. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. I didn't get a chance to read the whole thing, folks. Um, I, I, I have so many alerts and things I could share with you guys. We could be here for hours on end. So I'm just going to like go through this here as quick as I can. I know I don't have a lot of windows open up, but I want to keep this short. Uh, you know, I'm a little under the weather myself. That's why yesterday I didn't put out a video. I try to do daily vlogs, but, um, you know, I've been having like a, a nasty cold. I couldn't seem to get shaken, but um, still a little under weather, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, slow but surely. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, let me give the URL in case you want to read it, okay? It's um, https colon forward slash forward slash footwearnews.com, okay? And you can check it out, and uh, you can see, you can read the rest of the story. I don't really want to take too much of this here time to read all this here. I'm not saying it's a lot. Well, it's enough. But anyway, I just, for those who are new, uh, let me just say this real quick. I usually throw it at the beginning. Uh, I do not read everything verbatim. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I will give you the URL. I'll read. I'll expand a little on the topic, and then the rest is up to you if you want to pick up where I left off. So I hope you guys don't mind, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to keep it too, too long. Okay, so let's bump out of here. And the next one over here, this is from tamebay.com. And then URL is https colon forward slash forward slash tamebay, one word, dot com. And this one came out, <clears throat> uh, this one here came out, what, January? No, this is all, okay, order date. Oh, this is some, oh, this is a story here. Anyway, it's, um, it says over here, my first eBay shopping experience, a three-week delivery wait. This is, I guess, uh, which takes place in the UK, of course, and they actually posted up here uh, what they were getting, okay? And you can see it says a genuine, a new genuine UK brawn Oral-B toothbrush, trickler, uh, trickle charger, charging unit. Uh, type it tells you all that stuff there. What the person paid for it. Delivered January 27, uh, 6, 2019. Tracking number. This item has been dispatched. Well, this story was posted uh, February 5th, yesterday, 2019. And it goes on to say, following from my last thought. And this is a lot, a lot to read, so I'm not going to. I think this is the one that's got a lot, so. I'm not going to expand too much on this one here, uh, but it goes on to say, following on my last article, Amazon versus eBay, why Amazon is winning in the battle of uh, the marketplaces, I decided to test it out for myself, um, what it's like to be an eBay shopper. Having previously discussed my shopping experience with Amazon, I have decided to make first purchase on eBay. My first eBay purchase was, quite frankly, nothing other than disappointment. Uh, I can understand why other shoppers don't buy again, uh, if they have the same type of experience. Uh, this one here is a lot to read, but I'm not going to get too much into it. I'm just going to read this part here, and the rest is up to you, because look how far it goes down. I mean, this, you know, then you have people commenting on it. You know, you got a lot of comments here. Basically, it's a lot of comments going on here. Um, you might want to read the comments, though, because, you know, some people point out pretty interesting things in these, uh, when, these, when these stories come out like this here. But you could read the comments if you like. You know, you could actually do it right now without even doing it. <laughs> without, you know, I just thought about that too, folks. If I scroll down here uh, when I do the news here, if you don't want to read, if you don't want to go to the URL, you could just, you know, it's a video, so you could just pause it and read it yourself. But you could see here, there's a lot, a lot of people commented on this here, and uh, I didn't get a chance to read all. I love reading the comments because I like to hear what people have to say, and uh, because you get some good feedback from people uh, leaving comments, you know. But look at this here. Look how far it goes down. Look at this, guys. Look. I mean, this is, uh, it's a date. that story drew a lot of, uh, you know, people noticed. <laughs> drew a lot of attention here, you know. So uh, you can read it yourself if you got the chance, you know, if you want to. Or if you don't want to read it like that, scrolling on the screen like I'm doing now. Because the only thing you have to do is just pause your uh, video on it. You know, just pause the screen and read. But you can see how far it goes down. Look at this. Look at all the people that, that uh, you know, responded to this here, all right? So you can see there is a lot to read here. But um, so this part here uh, goes on to, we didn't read this whole thing. It's right. Let me just read this part here. It goes on here. The amount, the amount of time it took eBay to deliver the order, to put it mildly, was extraordinary, although I am aware that it is really the seller undertaking the delivery in mind I was buying from eBay. And then it goes on to say, I ordered the product on the 7th of January, I received it the 26th, 
That's, that is a long time to get that, to be honest with you. Uh, that's almost three weeks. Wait, I will go <clears throat> on to the importance of the convenience. And now shop is expect, uh, expert. Yeah, shop is expect. Expert? Okay, shop is expert. Uh, is that is rewarding for their loyalty. But it was a pleasant surprise to finally receive an order after I had forgotten about it. I would think after three weeks, you probably would forget about it. Um, I'm not going to too much. And this is the conclusion of it. Uh, you can read it if you like, uh, you know, and these here, folks, if you do decide to go now, if you, you're going to have to go to the uh, website itself because we want these are active hyperlinks here and you can read over here like this one here. Please make uh, please eBay make my 2019 that year that you deliver promises and search results. Uh, you can read that as well. Um, I love Tame Bay. I love all the stuff, the sites I go to. I get all the information from and I like to share it with you guys. But if you want to check this one out, just go to the, uh, the URL or just type in my first eBay shopping experience, uh, uh, a three-week delivery wait, and that's from Tame Bay. That's the story you're looking for, folks, okay? I would read it, but I am, I'd be tongue-tied. I'm getting tongue-tied already for it. Now, this one here, <clears throat> it says, do the promoted listings on eBay work, the trial? Now, this one here is, again, from Tame Bay, so I'm not going to give you the same URL. Um, they put this one out. This one came out today, February 6, 2019. The gentleman who did it is Dave Brackman, as a manager director of Stuff and Stuff You Sell, leading the eBay trading assistant in the UK, and a regular Tame, uh, Tame Bay contributor. Today, in the first three-part series of the first published rigorous, wide-scale scientific test of eBay promoter listings, David sets out the basis for the experiments that Stuff You Sell carried out. Come back tomorrow when we will reveal the results of the test on Friday uh, for all the conclusions and the actionable insights that you could use in your business. Um, I do not use promoted listings. I understand the logic behind it there that if you use it and you don't, you don't get charged for it unless it sells. It's, it doesn't cost anything to use it from what I understand. The only time you get charged for it with the item sells and you could set I think your own uh, percentages like 5% you know, discounted prices but I don't use it folks uh, and the reason I don't use it because I spend enough money on you know given eBay, you know what I'm saying, paying my insertion fees, some final value fees, and that's what I want to talk to you guys later on, but at the end of the show here, or I should say at the end of this uh, video, <laughs> but uh, you can check it out over here, um, it says over here, do promoter listings work on eBay work, the trial, uh, tomorrow listings a fe uh, feature is now well established on eBay, an additional paid for service to the market, to market your listings. For anyone who has yet tried the service, it is relatively simple. You set up a campaign, identify your listing numbers uh, you would like to include, choose additional percentage of the sale price and uh, yeah, that you are prepared to pay on top of the uh, final value fee. In return, your listings compete uh, to be shown in the premium positions across the site. For example, current slots 1, 4, and 5 in search results page, all promoted listings. The higher percentage you are prepared to pay, the more likely you will appear on the top spot. I, like I said again, I don't really get into this here. Okay, now looking at this here, um, since the benefits are clear, uh, you only pay when the actual item sells on each sale. Yeah, and each sale then increases the sale history of the list, and so you can use it to give back uh, to kickstart your best match positions initially launched as a trial in 2015. And then expanded across further categories in 2016. I remember speaking with the product manager and being impressed by the idea, but wondering one thing, will it work? I heard a lot of different stories with this, folks. I heard people that they, it's a love-hate relationship. It's a love-hate relationship with eBay just in general. But it's also, I think, a love-hate relationship with promoter listens. I don't know how many people like it. I mean, there's been a percentage of people that, that like it. They say it's good, it worked for them. Then there's people that I listen to, other eBay resellers, and they said it didn't do anything for them. Okay, so one per, uh, one person would said one time I was watching on um, on, on a YouTube channel, uh, and I'm not, I don't mention names because I'm not you know I don't want to you know I'm not bring shame to anybody, but I just don't want to mention names. Uh, the person said I did uh, have I don't know how many listens he had. I think he had a hundred or whatever it was. He said he did so many of them uh, with the promoter listings, and the other ones he just left regular, and uh, he was telling the story, and the way he went the way he went about it, he said. Um, it's funny, he goes, the ones with promoter listings weren't getting any views, or, you know, not views or whatever, any uh, traction, basically. He goes, but the ones that didn't have the promoter listing were selling. So he goes, I don't understand that. I go, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I, you can't respond to this. Well, you could if you could comment, but I'm saying to myself, well, there you go. I mean, now he's just probably one of many, you know, but there are people out there that are not too crazy about it. I don't know what you guys think. If you do like it, if you use it. Drop it in the comments below. Share it with us. I'd like to know for myself. No, maybe one day I will use it. I don't know. Here's another story. 
Um, this is from Web Retailer, okay? And let me give you the URL for that. It is www.webretailer.com. I like this one too. This is another good site too. Um, it says eBay promoter listings, your top 10 questions answered. Okay, this came out. Well, this is an old one. Wait, when did this was put out? Okay, I don't know. All I know is I think I did. I think they recently resent this to me. Because it was in my email. It was in my email feeds today. So um, anyway, it goes over here. Um, again, I'm not going to read the whole thing. With the uh, promoter listing, eBay sellers can pay to jump to the top spot, uh, top of the search results. How can sellers use these ads to best effect? Okay. Um, eBay promoter listings is a pretty simple advertising scheme. You choose what uh, which items to promote and how much to your sale price you're willing to pay. eBay then boosts your items in the normal positions in the search results to the fourth or fifth spots on the top. But you know something, folks? No, just think about this for a second, all right? I'm not saying it's going to happen with everybody. You know, the last time I looked at uh, eBay's list of uh, active, active sellers, right? There was, according to Google, there was 26 million active sellers on eBay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, they're talking about putting you in the what? Uh, in search results to the fourth or fifth spots from the top. Could you picture if all millions of people or even hundreds of thousands of people did that there? I mean, we, we all can't we all, we all can't be in the fourth and fifth spots from the top if there's thousands of people doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you see, that's, if you look at the logic behind it, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys may say, well, maybe your logic, the way you think, is wrong. But, you know, I mean, <clears throat> with all those sellers out there and everybody doing the same thing, I mean, you know, do you really expect to get much traction like that? I don't know. You, you guys tell me. If I'm, maybe I'm wrong, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Um, anyway, I don't want to expand too much on that topic there. Uh, I, I just want to, I'm going to read some of the highlights here, and then you could check it out for yourself. Uh, I don't know if I gave it to you, but I'm going to give you the URL. Anyway, www.webretailer.com. You could check this story out. And the story you're going to be looking for, folks, just to give you a heads up, is eBay promoter listings, your top 10 questions answered. Okay. Um, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a little too much to read here, too. But anyway, I'm going to read the highlighted ones. How much does your eBay promoter listings cost? Okay, you can read that one. And then this one here, it says to help answer, uh, to help answer these questions, eBay provides average ad, uh, ad rates. Okay, now, again, I don't know when this was put out. Let's see here. I'm just curious because this was in my email feed today. Uh, it's sent, according to this, it says July 5th, 2018. So, uh, but usually they would have a date there, uh, you know, an update. I don't know. All right, uh, this was in the feed, so I don't know. Um, it goes on to say how much does eBay promote, uh, you know, does eBay promoted listings cost? All right, and then they have a little breakdown over here, the average ad ratio, antiques, art, baby, books, business, industrial, cameras and photos, cell phones, accessories, clothing, shoes, and, and accessories. And they got the uh, the average ad rate, so you can see it. Now, these are old, so you can keep, well, it's old enough, right? <laughs> uh, considering it was from the 2018, it's a year old, so. You know, you can't go by what these are. These may have went up. I doubt they went down, <laughs> especially with eBay. That's a new name that people call it now, Feebay. All right. Anyway, here's the other one here. How do I know if I'm paying more than I need to? So you could read these stories here, or as I'm scrolling down, you could just read them right here as we do it. <laughs> um, that's another way, too. You don't even have to go to the website, right? You could just read it on here. Uh, number three, eBay already charged um, final value fee. Why should I pay even more? Bingo. That's what I say. Like I said, I've been giving them enough money, so uh, for me, it don't work. You know, it's, it wouldn't work for me. But I don't know. I, I, I got, you know, I really shouldn't knock it until I try it. But I, I mean, right now, I, I don't think it's feasible for me. Here's another one: won't uh, won't promote the listings eat into my profits? Well, you tell me. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a no-brainer. Um, which items should I use promoted listings on? Okay, and then they give you a little thing here: promoted listings can be a good fit for new product lines, new listing ideas such as kits and variations. Seasonal products, liquidating old product lines, products that are already selling well. All right, that's just I'm just reading out there really quick. What kind of items are not uh, ripe for promoter listings? Promoter listings are not usually good fit for rare, collectible, or unique items. Listings within a week, say week, in a week sales uh, history. No, with a week sales history. I'm sorry, folks. Here's another one here. Um, why use promoter listings for best-selling products? And then it goes on to talk a little about that. I want to try to keep this short, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, you could read it on the video, right? You could just pause the video and read it yourself. How important is it to sell through rate for promoter listings? Okay. All right. And it goes on to say, with promoter listings, eBay does not simply does not simply choose 
the two, wait, the, the two listings with the highest ad rate to boost up the search results, okay? And then it goes on to say with this one here, what's a good overall strategy for eBay promoted listings? Okay, the right way to use promoted listings depends on the individual business. It's unlikely you can guess exactly what you will, but what will work for you in existing organic sales data. So you do your own experimentation, analyze the results, make your decision based upon the facts. With that said, here are some good general practices. Promote your listings with good sell-through rate, but very low, uh, but low traffic. Promote new items that provide traffic and establish uh, sales history. Consider promoting your best sellers if it makes sense to sacrifice some profit margin for higher sales volume. Yeah, well, it could work and it could not. It could be again to work against you. Consider promoting uh, promoting seasonal products to kick off the season with good sales, or address any risk overstocking. Consider promoting products you need to liquidate quickly. Optimize weak listings to improve the sell-through rate before promoting them. And then uh, the next one, I'm not going to read all this. The next one, does eBay promoted listings really work? And they say the short answer is yes. Now, again, with eBay, it's a love-hate relationship. I heard good things about it, and I heard bad things about it. Now, if you talk to some people that used it, they would be, they'll would they tell you, I hate it, I don't work for me, this, that, and the other thing. You know, uh, like This guy here who's writing the story, you know, he's... I guess he did his own research. Maybe he's using it. You know, maybe he's using it himself, and that's this is his, just his vocal point. He's expressing himself. You know, maybe he's the type of guy. Well, I used it. It works for me, type of thing. You know, don't work for you, but it works for me. You know, so uh, you could check that out, folks. And they got they going down to the bottom. You can read some more. Um, they got view top view top uh, eBay selling tools. You can click that on and check it out for yourself. Anything with hyperlinks, folks, you're going to have to go on that site. But if you want to just read the story, you don't want to bother with hyperlinks, then you can read it here. You know, you can read it right here if you don't even want to go to the website. Um, yeah, so we got that there. Now, this is a little off-key, but you know what? Let's keep it on, let's keep it on the uh, eBay business first, and I just want to share some stuff. Um, in regards to my listings, um, I had 130, whatever it was. I've been letting them fall off, folks, to let you know. Um, the reason why I'm letting it fall off is because I'm not getting really much traction here, okay? Some of these things have been here for quite some time, okay? And, you know, it's funny because, like, this thing here, this is the one I was talking about at one point. They had, I don't know if it had a, a, a 1,500 watches on there or whatever. And, you know, not watches, uh, views, and it had two watches. Now it's got, I had to relist it again. Did I relist it? No, time about 20, yeah. <clears throat> Very few little uh, views. Uh, this one here I put up, <clears throat> all the ones with the here with the 24 days been recently put up. Um, not, you're not getting any traction, no views, you know, like very little views. And, uh, you know, for me to keep relisting over and over again, you say, well, you get a hundred free lists. All right. I think that's what happened. I called up yesterday. <clears throat> oh, I can't shake this call. Anyway, I called up eBay teammate yesterday and I asked him, I said, look, I got an eBay bill here. I go, what is this all about here? I go, how come it's so high? I go, I got 100, I'm supposed to get 100 free listings. And um, I said, you know, the bill's so high. I said, what, what, what am I being charged for? So then he goes, he walks me through. He goes, okay, go to your seller hub, look at your seller hub, and um, what do you call it there? Check out the, uh, what did he say again there? There's something. I know mean, he said, you got to go, oh, yeah, to active sales. When you go to the active sales, then you click to another thing there. So he's telling me all this stuff here about, you know, uh, my charges. Now, here's the thing I want to do share with you guys, all right, um, which is my fault. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I had shipped an item out, <clears throat> and I thought the item was, you know, now, unless my scale, the battery is going weak on it, it did throw off the uh, it did throw off the weightage, a little, you know, the weight. I don't know, maybe a couple ounces. But, you know, with the post office, once you go over a certain amount, <clears throat> it automatically defaults to a pound. So if you got something that's one pound, five ounces, it automatically de it defaults to, a, you know, it goes over it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the way I understand it. So, hey, long story short, I send the item out, <clears throat> send it to the buyer. Now, here's the thing. When, you're under, when you underpay on the postage, the postal service will still mail it, Okay. Now, it goes to eBay. eBay will get a notification. I guess, I don't know if eBay picks up the tab or whatever. And then, in, due to, in, 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 you know, in lieu of that, you'll get a notification saying uh, your shipping was under, under price, whatever. Uh, the overpriced or underpriced. I don't know if you guys have had that happen. 
I had. <clears throat> so it turned out to be that the um, beer wolf went second, folks. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. I'm back. I had to get some water there. <laughs> My throat was getting all dried out. <laughs> um, yeah, so what happened was I ended up uh, sending a package out, not purposely, not trying to, you know, get over on a post office hoping they would slip by. It was it was an innocent accident. And, um, you know, eBay will notify you and say, hey, you know, you, you underpaid on the uh, postage there, so uh, you're going to be charged for that. So, you know, he pointed that out to me because I said that was part of it, you know. So I looked over there and the charge, I think it came out to like $3.82. So I'm looking, so what is that there? And all of a sudden I see it, okay. Uh, I remember the email they sent me prior to the, to the invoice, you know, the closing invoice. And it says, okay, that's what you had there. You underpaid on it there. So, you know, eBay, I guess, I don't know, they put the bill out, I guess. And then they end up tagging me with it, you know, which is fair. I mean, I don't, look, I have no problem with that. But anyway, so I'm over here talking to him about, the, you know, the cost and stuff like that. And he walked me through everything and... It turned out to be that, um, well, here's what happened with the bill as to why it got so high. There was a guy, I, I don't know if you guys were following me on a karaoke uh, thing there. Um, I did, a, I did a, you know, a video on that there. I don't know if I posted it up. I might have forgotten about it. Anyway, uh, I, the person is in California. Now, here's the thing. This is the other thing that bothers me with these buys. I Look, I love the buys. They, they're good people. They really are. Anyway, what happened was, the story, if you didn't hear it, uh, I had this karaoke I put uh, I, I put up on eBay, and I put on there, um, you know, I give the description, of course. I, I put up there for local pickup only, right? Now, this guy might have been an older gentleman. I don't know. All I know is uh, I called him up because he only he paid, but I don't know if this guy seen it. But what happened was I printed out the transaction detail from PayPal. I looked at the guy's address. Oh, my gosh. I go, this guy's in California. So he had a phone number right in, and I called him up, and I told the guy, I said, excuse me, I go, um, I don't know if you're aware of this here, but, you know, this is for a local pickup. He goes, where are you located? I said, New York. He goes, holy, you know. I go, yeah. I go, I'm in New York. So um, I go, you know, if you still want this, I said, I could, you know, shop around, get, I'll try to get some prices for you. And, um, you know, we, 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 I'll try to get the cheapest way to send it out to you. Now, here I am thinking, again, I don't know how much these things weigh. I mean, you, you can only guess them, right? So I'm thinking to myself, man, I think probably weighs about between 8 and 10 pounds or whatever, something like that, right? And I'm thinking it's going to be, well, I'm not, well, anything going out in California Midwest is always going to be a little more pricey than, than you could expect. I mean, come on, it's, you know, <laughs> look how many miles it's going to travel. You know, that's all a lot for, plus they go by zones, right? So anyway... I go shopping around, I call up U, uh, UPS, I call FedEx up, and one's charging 104 the other one's charging $99. So the cheapest one was uh, for $91.50, that was the United States Postal Service, which I, I use exclusively. I do not use any other carriers. And just to give you an example, that's just a prime example, folks, how cheaper the U.S. Postal Service is. I don't have, I'm, you know, they're not... I have no affiliate link with them, so I don't want you to think, oh, you know, he's part of Safeway out there. You know, I don't get any kickbacks from the United States Postal Service. But they are, in this particular case, they were cheaper uh, than the uh, FedEx and the UPS. So, you know, if you're going to do anything like that, folks, if you are going to uh, use a carrier, you might want to check out the U.S. Postal Service. I mean, check out the others. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm sure you're going to get a better deal with the U.S. Postal Service. So, anyway, I call the guy up. I tell him this is what it's going to cost. He's like... I even told him, I said, I even split the bill with you. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, that's all right. He goes, uh, I'll pass on. I said, okay, that's okay. I said, look, you know, I understand completely. You know, he, I was going to, I was going to split the, the shipping because I want to get rid of it, you know? So anyway, uh, that's what ends up happening with that. So that there, the final value fee on that particular item was 10 bucks. So that's what brought it up to play. That's what brought it so much that, you know, cause I'm saying myself, it should only be this amount of money, right? And then when the guy got on the phone with the eBay guy, the uh, teammate, he told me, he goes, no, this is what the bill will be now. He goes, because he goes, I, we took off the $10 final value fee. So, you know, sometimes I get, you know, when it comes to eBay, every month they bill me. I, when it's like, I'm looking at these things. I'm saying to myself, why is it so high? I got to start a store with 100 free listings. Not that I'm saying it's the greatest thing, but it's a little more cost effective than, um, you know, than, than just not having a store. But I want to share this with you guys really quick, too. Uh, in regards to the eBay news stuff, um, this is the this now here's the stories you're gonna get from uh, 
the teammates there. Now, if they're not fully informed, which I can't blame them because maybe like that old saying goes, hey, maybe they didn't get the memo, <laughs> right? Um, somebody told me the first teammate, well, once before I talked about this, about the additional, you know when they get those promotional things or, you know, the eBay every first of the month, they give you 50 free listings, I think it is. Um, so I asked this guy that I was talking to last night, and uh, I said, so I got a question for you. I go, I get 100 free listings, right? So I go uh, you know, with, the, with the starter store, and I said, now I know eBay gives out 50 free listings. I think it's either the first or the second of every month. I said, am I entitled to get that? So in you know, in technically, would I I'd be getting 150? You know, I'd have 100 free, uh, free listings. He goes, uh, yes, that's correct. He goes, yeah, no, that's that's it. That's correct. You're right. You you will get that. So I said, wait a minute. I go, let me share this with you. Now I'm telling this to the teammate. I said, let me share this with you. I said, you're telling me that I'm going to get a hundred and free hundred hundred free listings and an additional fifty. I said, and he goes, yes. He goes, that's true. I go, well, you might want to check that again. He goes, why? I go because I talked to another teammate once before, and the teammate said. <clears throat> I am not going to get with the with the starter store. I am not going to get the additional free listings, uh, fifty free listings. So I go. Can you do me a favor? Can you check with your supervisor and find out if that's legitimate? There, what we're talking about. He goes. Okay. He tells me. Hold on. He comes back. He goes. No. He goes. There's been a miscommunication. He goes. You're right. You won't get the additional free fifty listings. He goes. That's for people that don't have a starter store, you know, or any store subscription. So I said. I thought so. So then. It dawned on me, I'm looking at, this is, now here's the, see, this, like I said, a little gray area here. It's a little, it throws you off. This is kind of bizarre when I'm about to tell you the way eBay operates. I've gotten on two or three occasions from eBay with their promotional listings, okay? And I even told the guy, walking through it. Now, I think the last one I got was for, I don't know, August, or, I, I, no, whatever it was, I forget. My, no, no, I think it was for December or something like that, December 18th, I think it was that sort of one. I, in my, you know, in a message, I'm looking it up, and I see I got a promotion thing for 200 free listings. So I told the guy, I said, well, listen, I want to share something with you. You're on my account. He goes, yeah. I go, go down to December 18th in that message and see what that says there. And he's looking, and he goes, yeah. He goes, you get 200 free active listings. I said, but we just talked about the 50 free listings that I'm not entitled to get because I have a starter store. But yet, eBay sends me a promotion that I get 200 additional listings. With the, you got to use it within a certain time frame. So it's like the left hand doing what the right hand's doing. You follow? And um, you got to be careful with these people, folks. Let me tell you, they're nice people. This guy was nice. I had to be on the phone with him for probably a good half hour to 40 minutes, you know, talking, asking questions and stuff like that. A lot of talking to probably a guy's ear off, you know. Uh, anyway, but... Seriously, when it comes to, you know, looking into things of this nature, especially when it comes to selling or the eBay, if you got any questions, maybe if you have to write down the information before, because I almost forgot a couple of things I wanted to ask him. But, you know, maybe you might write it down. But anyway, you know, check with them and whoever you're talking to. And if you if you heard something from one teammate as, a, as opposed to another, cross-reference it. You don't have to give names. You don't have to try to, you know, it's not that you get anybody in trouble. You just want to make sure you know where you stand when it comes to selling on their platform, all right? Just be careful with that. That's all I'm saying, okay? You just ask a lot of questions because I did, and now I got the straight the straight answer, or at least from what I understand, with the promoter listings. Now, that's a promotion, though. Now, here's the difference, though, folks, okay? Now, even though I still get the free 100 listings with the 495 started store, that's promotional. Now, he is probably right. I would say he is right when it comes to the 50 free every month. That I am not going to because that's not a promotion. That's I think that's like I said, they, they got something set in place with that. But I also did a video. Now, here's the other thing. I told him about the 1,000 uh, listings. I think I did a video about that a while back. I think eBay is going to give 1,000 free listings. I don't know if it's going to be on a trial basis or a promotional basis. He wasn't aware of it. Because, oh, no, I'm not aware of that. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying about the left hand not know what the right hand doing. Just be careful, ask questions, okay? If you hear stories from one person telling you something, check to verify it because that person that's giving you information can be wrong, you know what I'm saying? Just verify it. Anyway, as you know, I like to talk about different things, and but I still want to stay in the eBay topic, so I want to share uh, on my uh, emails 
they have uh, collectible, uh, what do you call it? comic insurance, comic book insurance. I don't know if you guys know that there. Uh, if any of you guys sell comic books, maybe you got expensive ones. You might want to put insurance on it. It says get a quote. <laughs> I thought I'd Hey, listen, you know, this channel is about everything and a little, little, little of this and a little of that. You know, I try to keep it interesting. So uh, I just want to share that with you guys. So if you have, if you, I have comic books, but um, the ones I have most likely are not going to be, uh, you know, insured. I don't need to have them insured, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this company here, it says over here, uh, you can call the uh, collectibles insurance team. They got a number at the bottom over here, as you can see here. Uh, this is if you have, you know, comics that, that are worth, you know, a lot of money and you want to insure them. Uh, you might want to check this out, collectibles insurance uh, services, okay? The other thing I want to talk about here, folks, is Rumble. Now, I think I talked about this once before. I don't know if you guys ever checked into it. Rumble's like another, uh, it's like another YouTube channel. They got some pretty interesting stories. Well, just like YouTube, uh, too. But um, I'm just going to pan down here. If you never checked it out, you go to Rumble.com. They got some pretty good things there. You know, some different stories and stuff. You could set up your uh, profile to get you know, certain type of uh, topics uh, sent in your email like this one here is uh latest if you look up here latest uh ads uh latest ads 15 new videos okay um so yeah these are the ones that are coming up here but if you never checked it out you might want to you know they got some pretty good stories and uh, as far as i know with rumble they try i noticed they try to keep the time span on them pretty you know low like I don't know. I think the, I think the most they must have had on there. I think is like five minutes. I don't know if they go any further than that. But the the time limit on it is pretty short. So it's not like my videos where you go, oh, go to your videos. I spend a half hour, an hour on it. But with their with these videos here, and they have some pretty interesting stories here, folks. You know. But uh, if you ever get a chance, uh, go to uh, Rumble.com, I believe it is, and you can check it. They got a whole bunch of videos. Pretty interesting things too, folks. No, not you know they got they t they cover topics on different things too, you know. So you might want to check it out, uh, Rumble.com, and look at their stories and stuff like that. They really got some good stuff. I like it. I like their stories, you know. But uh, yeah, that's the story you want to go to. It's right up here, Rumble. And once you subscribe to them, you see here you're currently subscribed to the latest for daily updates. You will be getting daily updates. <laughs> I assure you. No, but they got good stuff. You know, I mean, you can always cancel that. You can always unsubscribe, but they got good stuff. And one other thing I want to share with you guys here. Like I said, again, it's a little off key, but I want to share. So check this out. This is from MS News, right? Now, me, I'm very curious by nature. I like to always, you know, pick up on different topics and stuff like that. I know this might not be of interest to you. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to look at this here, you could end the video right now folks <laughs> but i just wanted to share it with you uh it's 19 disasters that could end the world this came out five hours ago and uh it goes on to say here it says there's 20 slides here but i'm, I'm not going to read them that's totally up to you i think it's in today's ms news you could probably pick up on the story but check out the things they talk about here uh that the first one there what was that first one anyway they didn't even say anything though did they uh global war okay that was the global warming one i think there's another one with global warming right yeah uh, this one here's another one with global warming there's 20 slides. I'm like I said, I'm not going to go read all of this here. Uh, this one here, uh, global war. Well, we hope we don't have that. God forbid. All right. Uh, black holes. Okay. And that's an advertisement. Solar flares. You know, that's uh, another one there. And here's super volcanoes. And asteroid impact. Gamma ray burst. Let's see what else they got here. I thought that was popcorn for a second. <laughs> what is that? Pandemics? It looks like popcorn there. Um, yeah, then you got the pandemic ones here. And you got another advertisement, which we don't need. Here's one reversal of the Earth's magnetic field. I was just going to do a story that I just got a notification, an email alert from that there about somebody had written about that, about the uh, reversal of the Earth's magnetic field. But I didn't put I didn't put that into this one here. Else we'll be here for all day long, you know, keep reading all these different things. Um, not that one. Oh wait, oh, I, I, I threw this advertisement. Uh, biotech disaster. Okay, genetically GMO modified, right? And uh, yeah, be way be careful with those genetically modified uh, foods. So I don't, I don't get involved with that stuff. Um, then you get one over here. Particle accelerator uh, accident. That's not good. Again, you could read this stuff if you go to MSN News. You know, you could check it out. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Artificial intelligence. 
Someday the robots are going to be taken over. No, I'm only kidding. That, yeah, but I hear, I hear people saying stuff like that, though. To be honest with you, they do. They think that someday the robots are going to be taken over. Uh, who knows? I don't know. Uh, nanotechnology disaster. Okay. Advertisement. Overpopulation. I heard stories about that. I am not going to feed into that there because um, I'm just not going to feed into it. You, you could check it out for yourself. But I, I have my own. I, I heard stories about that there, and uh, I'm not going to expand on that topic. Environmental pollution. Look at that there, right? Yeah. Uh, rogue planet hits Earth. So, but then again, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I always wondered where these people come up with these things. But again, I, it's not me. <laughs> Sun could start to die. That that wouldn't be good because then we go back. I think that would throw us back in the ice age if that that happens, right? I think that would. Uh, you're frozen. <laughs> yeah, another result of the demise of Sun. It would be the Earth could be ejected out of its orbit. It exists as a frozen rock in a deeper. That happens. God forbid. That would that wouldn't be good. That like, <laughs> that's not a good thing. Um, alien invasion. Yeah, I don't know. You guys are into uh, UFO stuff? I am. I, I get into all that stuff there. I like to, every now and then, listen to uh, some people on their coast-to-coast -coast AM. They talk about alien abductions and stuff like that there. I, I like that stuff. I don't know. But uh, you guys might not like it. And the last one is oceans becoming more acidic. Yeah. Well, you know, if you got ocean pollution, this is talking about higher levels of carbon dioxide led to an extinction event of millions of years ago. Carbon dioxide levels are rising again. Scientists study the effects of elevated CO2 levels, uh, believe higher carbon dioxide levels, will damage coral reefs reef, and reef destruction can remove habitat uh, of 25% of marine life. Uh, yep, that says over here, reef eradication could also make many coastal cities vulnerable to storm and wave damage. Okay, so like I said, you know, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, Priscilla, geez, you, got, you had to put this at the end of the video. I, I don't know. I just wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, my video, my YouTube channel is about a little of everything. And with that, I'm going to bump out of here and we're going to close this video out. Um, yeah, I uh, I try to cover a lot on these, on these videos here. I, I try to. I used to have like 10, 15 windows opened up. And I said to myself, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do this anymore because, first off, it gets too much for me to talk. You know, I get, I'm not saying I get winded, but I get tongue tied talking about all, all this stuff. But I do love sharing the information with you guys, folks. I really do. Um, and I really do hope that the information I share, you know, with you guys, you get a takeaway from it. It, it helps out in some way, you know. Um, I do want to do, like I said again, I do want to uh, introduce, I like to do more do it yourself videos, how to videos. Just got to think about the projects and the things I want to do, you know, to, to incorporate in there and to, onto this YouTube channel. It's not easy. I said it once before, uh, do, you know, everyday vlogging is not the easiest thing to do. I mean, I've been doing it now, trying to. I, I think I skipped a day yesterday. Uh, and I, I usually like to try to do two videos a day, but it's hard. Uh, and plus, I wasn't feeling under, you know, I was a little under the weather yesterday. And I was trying to catch up some stuff up here, what I was doing. I was taking some, you know, trying to do some listings, doing some research on eBay and stuff like that, uh, you know, to see if, what, if I could get a little spark in there. It's been, I don't know how you guys feel about it. I mean, do you guys that sell on eBay, uh, are you doing good? Are you making sales? Because I'm not doing really too good on it, to be honest with you. Uh, honestly, I'm not, I'm not doing good, too good on it. Um, and, you know, the funny thing is, too, I put a couple items on Poshmark. I don't know about that either. Yeah, I think I think a lot of a lot of these online site uh, online resellers, uh, you know, platforms, even uh, what do you call it there, um, Bonanza. Oh, you think you think eBay's dead? Now I'm not trying to bad mouth Bonanza, but if you think eBay's bad, try selling on Bonanza. Tell me what you think about that. I don't know if you guys do sell on it, but you try try that. Try selling on that one there and tell me what you think of that. Uh, not, that, that's not a pretty picture, picture either. <laughs> so I'm not trying to bam out. I'm still, I still have them, you know, as a, as a sidekick here. You know, so I'm, you know, so I'm saying. Um, I think I told you once before when you sign up with Bonanza, you can import your eBay listings, Amazon, I think Etsy, I think, or I, I, there's a couple other ones that you can import 
on some Bonanza's website. So it's not like you have to manually do it. Oh, I got to do one, I got to do two, three. It's like, it does it automatically. You just got to go with the prompts there, the, or uh, what do you call it, the, to the acknowledge the, um, the permissions to let uh, Bonanza go into, you know, extract, pull the information from eBay onto their site. And what I, what's good about it is it's cross-selling, but my logic back then, well, still is, what one don't sell, the other one will pick up. You know, one don't sell, then you get the other one and vice versa. If it doesn't sell on eBay, hopefully it's on Amazon, Bonanza. If it doesn't sell on Bonanza, it sells on eBay. But it's this is what's going on right now, folks, on both, both platforms. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not bad-mouthing them. There are people out there that may be you. Some of these followers on here, subscribers, may be Bonanza sellers. You may be saying, I'm doing great on it, you know. I, I'm just sharing it. For me, it's not really working for me. But the only thing I will share this with you with Bonanza and again, it's just to give you a heads up. If you do use Bonanza in conjunction with eBay, if you make a sale on eBay, if you make a sale on eBay, go to Bonanza right away, go into your edit profile, and remove it from, from Bonanza. I had two occasions like that where an item sold, two, well, one, one on eBay, two things sold on eBay at different times. Bonanza didn't update it. The buyer made the purchase on, on Bonanza, and it was already been sold on eBay. I went there because I said, "Oh, you got a, you uh, you made a sale on Bonanza," so I got an email from them. And I'm looking, I said, "Oh my God!" I go look, I said, "Oh, maybe this is good." And, I said, and then I look, I said, "I just sold that thing a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, whatever it was." So then I had to notify the buyer on Bonanza and say, "Listen, I'm very sorry." It's been sold on eBay. Apparently, there must have been a glitch on Bonanza. I had to make up an excuse. There must have been a glitch of Bonanza's, uh, you know, selling whatever, or website, whatever, and it didn't properly update. That item is no longer available. That happened on two occasions. And let me tell you something, folks. It makes you look very, you know, unprofessional, to be honest with you. You know, you're trying to do a business, right? And, you know, you got to have something like that there. It's not right. And, and vice versa, okay? Because I don't know <laughs> if your son's, <clears throat> me personally, if I say I, I had that happen, I sold something on Bonanza. The first thing I did before I even responded to it, I went right to eBay and I ended the listing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, the first thing I did was I, I ended it. I went right to eBay. I didn't wait for no Bonanza to update because supposedly Bonanza. I don't know how often they update. Okay, I thought I thought they do it periodically or you know like I don't know if it's done on a daily basis. Or I have to manually go in there and hit the update button. I don't know. And the reason why you probably say, well, how can you how can you not like you know be too familiarized with that with the practice on Bonanza? I don't really go because I don't make that many sales with them. I think in 2018, if I seen that thing right, unless I'm looking at it wrong, I think I only made five sales for the whole year. The whole year, 20 or five sales with Bonanza. So it's like it's like an out of sight, out of mind, you know, website. You know, I don't use it that much. You know, I don't really. And then they have the then the Bonanza will come out with all these promotional things. Oh, be higher in search, boost your your boost your eyes, boost your items up in search, whatever. Uh, with Google, or something with something to do with Google. Um, I have the free service. They have different tiers. So if you wanna get into different types of uh, selling platforms with them, it's going to cost you money. I can't right now, I can't afford eBay and Bonanza. And I don't know if I did pay a service with Bonanza. So let's say, because they offer you these services on how to boost your items up in search and whatever, or whatever, you know, however they have it. You got to look at their site. Um, you know, what am I going to do? How many, how many, what am I going to do? I mean, you know, I got to pay additionally for that there, you know. One thing I got to say about eBay, now, unless they paid it in a price somehow, um, when you advertise on eBay, when you put your listings on eBay, you end up, you, you, you show up Google search, you know, and saying like, you know, in Google, you will come up. I seen, I did my own. I tested out every now and then with eBay and I will do a Google search on, a, I know on something, I just copy and paste it from eBay and I will put it in there and see if it comes up, you know, and it does show up on Google. All right. Um, yes. And sometimes you will see, uh, I don't, sometimes you see bananas, it depends. Uh, but you'll see, you know, Etsy, eBay, whatever, somebody selling us that same particular item, it will show up. But I am, I'm always in there. If I'm not in the beginning, I'm at the end of it, but at least I'm in Google search, you know. So just be careful uh, when it comes to things like that, folks. That's all. If you're going to sell on that, you're going to cross sell with eBay and Bonanza. Remember what I told you, if it sells on eBay, go to Bonanza 
edit, take it off, and the same thing, sell it on Bonanza, go right to eBay, and end that listing because, folks, you're going to be giving yourself extra work anyway. You know, you'd be giving yourself extra work. It's a lot of work, but it's extra work. Why, need, why, why put yourself through it? So, uh, and that's the other thing, too. I just want to leave you with, like I said, if you do call up um, the uh, eBay customer support, the nice people over there, the guy was very friendly. He helped me out. He explained to me, you know, he brought, broke it down in detail as to why it was so high and stuff like that. And, you know, after that final value fee from that uh, karaoke, you know, I reversed the charges, you know, because uh, I had to refund the guy. Um, they took the 10%. It was 10%, $10, all right, on that, that item. So eBay took that, you know, took the $10 off uh, my bill. So it dropped it down a little. So, well, enough. So at least I was a little happy about that because I'm saying, so, well, you know, you, you're looking at this, like, every time I look around, my, 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 my bill goes up on eBay. And I was like, what is this? I finally got annoyed. I called him up. I didn't get mad at the guy yelling. I said, I go, enough, enough. And I go, but every time I check, I always see, it seems like my bills go up high. They never go low. So he said, right now, he goes, um, you do have outstanding fees that, that are going to be applied to this month's bill. So I said, what are you talking about? He goes, well, right now, I, th I don't know. I guess I don't know what, what it was for. Uh, he goes, uh, what did he say? Was, it, was there a sale made? I don't remember. He goes, it was like for $1.76. He goes, right now, it's like $1.76 for the month. And plus your five, uh, your four ninety five for that. So I said, well, that's that's livable. That's doable. I don't care. you know. And that's the other thing he said. I said, well, with the 100 free listings, if I don't sell anything, my bill should be, with the 100 free listings there, should be four ninety five dollars for the month. He goes, yeah. He goes, but if you do sell, of course, you're going to get. I go, no, I am well aware of that. I just want to make sure there's no hidden charges in there somewhere along the line where you guys are making additional cash. I mean, you know, I got to look out for my pocket too, you know. So anyway, let me end this here video, guys. I'm sorry I didn't do one yesterday. I might be putting another one out. I, I did. I was doing a video. I think I was doing one yesterday, but I didn't upload it because, like I said, I've been feeling under the weather. You know, and I'm trying to get rid of some, you know, take care of some stuff over here. I got personal business to take care of and stuff. So, you know, there's only so many hours in the day. Look, it's already, I thought it was 2, 2 o'clock already. It's going on a little after 3 p.m. over here. I'm on the East Coast of New York. I, I tell you the truth, folks. Since doing this here on a full-time basis, I never see, I don't know, maybe you guys agree, they agree to disagree with me. I never seen time fly so fast. I'm so serious. I get up at six o'clock in the morning, and I'm looking at the clock. And I'm, you know, the first thing I do is turn. I put the pot up for coffee, put the computer on, start reading all my e well, not all the emails, but I read a lot of my emails, <clears throat> at least the Google alert ones. And um, then I start, you know, going through the day. See, like, okay, the morning I start seeing, okay, what's going on? Is anything happening with eBay? Is this selling on that platform? Is it selling on that? Anything? Any traction? Any movement? Whatever. And I start looking at other stuff on there and try to do some more research. And before you know it, it's 9 o'clock. Then 9 o'clock, 10, the next time you know it's it's noon. I didn't have my lunch yet, so I'm going to have a late lunch now because I, I had to, I want to get this done. This is important to me, you know. But I don't want to, you know, the thing is, is there's nothing wrong with, you know, running, a, doing an eBay business and, you know, doing your research and you spend a lot of time to it. And there's nothing wrong with doing YouTube videos. But the thing is, folks, sometimes you can run yourself ragged with this stuff, really. Uh, I found myself only having two meals one day because I get so engrossed with this stuff. And, you know, you're trying to build a brand and you're trying to get your name out there. You're trying to, you know, let, expose your business to get some sales and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm up, down, back and forth. So I was, I'm going all over the place with this here. And it's, it's not really, it's not an easy road to travel on, I'll be honest with you, folks. It's been pretty, uh, it's been pretty not good. I'll be honest with you. So, uh, and that's why I said I'm not going to get into that topic again. But um, if you ever do think about doing eBay full time, I just will leave with this: do your research and don't quit your day job. <laughs> Seriously, please don't quit your day job. This is Rich Bassini signing off. Talk to you the next time. Well, you may see another video maybe later on. Anyway, have a great day. Bye bye now.